This seems like it's going to be straightforward enough. Mine the coins, avoid the rocks, get rich. And when we see better treasure, go for better treasure. We've already collected 25 coins and that's some kind of achievement. We're up to almost $1,000 already, so I can't wait to start getting upgrades and we're going to sweep back across there. And I think we hit the finish line 250 meters down. And apparently we get a flawless bonus, so we get to swim through all these coins and a diamond. Hopefully these are worth lots of money. Along with $10,000, we have a chest to open. We have found a protective hard hat, very important when you're mining. And that's something we can put on Idiot Stick, which is going to give us plus 3 health and plus 1 light. We can potentially craft better gear, but I'm going to need to find some materials before I do so. So let's move on to mine number 3 and hope for some riches. This is going to have plastic and wood logs. I don't know which is the better of the building ingredients, but I'm just going to grab whatever I can get anyway. There's the first piece of wood, there's another wood log. And some plastic. Not sure if I should be collecting plastic or coins. I kind of want the new materials because I assume I can make new stuff out of them. Made it to the bottom, earned about $5,000 so far, plus I get this bonus. So we definitely want all the blue coins we can get, but I'm also going to go back and forth because I'm lazy. My idiot leveled up, so we get three diamonds, plus energy refill. Okay, so now we can try combining plastic with wood, and that's going to make us have to wait uh, 50 seconds or use a diamond. I'm going to use a diamond. That got us a proper pickaxe. If only I could see it. So that was basically to unlock the recipe. Now we actually craft it. This would take two minutes. I don't have two minutes. I'm a very busy person. I made a superior gear on my first try. And I guess there was like a 1 in 5 chance of being legendary for two special abilities. I like how it even tells me it's best. That really takes the thinking out for me. So we're going to get extra health points and eventually special effects. I just got a new material that was, I believe, candle, so I'm not sure what those are going to be good for, but we'll combine it with other stuff. And I'm kind of wondering if I can just drill at any old time. Oh, I can just basically drill forever. That's fun. And like here, instead of going around, yeah, we'll just go ahead and drill through that because that's just much easier. Time for the bonus for all these coins that I still don't know what to do with. I could experiment with a candle and a log. That really does make it a Saturday night now, doesn't it? No amount of therapy will ever make this moment okay. Experiment in progress, two gems because I don't have time to wait. See result. That can make a medieval lantern, we just need a little more logging candle. So we can use money actually to buy ingredients, I can spend 8400 of my gold to buy that. Maybe it was a little more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Because instead of buying a little bit, I bought as many as I could, which is why it was so expensive. On the bright side, I can craft a medieval lantern with a 19% chance for it to be legendary. And that actually did turn out legendary, you can tell by the stars. The pickaxe we made was 4 blue stars, the lantern was 5 pink stars. Nice. So that gives me more ingredients in a mine, and 50% more coins after finishing a mine, so that's going to be very good. Because as we accidentally found out, ingredients are very expensive. And uh, I make a lot of mistakes like that, so the more wealth I can have, the better off I'm going to be. Something just happened here, I think we zoomed out, but we're definitely finding a lot more uh, ingredients, so this feels pretty good. Shouldn't really have done that. Apparently that was a precision move, despite the fact that I hit the rock. And I really appreciate a game that rewards me for stupidity. Those are the kind of games that I thrive in. I think I made it to the bottom, so I should get extra coins here. Can I drill here? It's a little bit faster to drill. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll just take whatever we get. And we've leveled up again, so we get more energy and more diamonds. Blue vials contain a powerful magic. Collect them to activate a super drill. Will do. There's a lot of blue vials. And a red vial. Oh, okay, so we go three layers down. That's handy. Can I just do that permanently? That would really take out the effort of me having to swipe back and forth, because yes, I am that lazy right now. That is kind of satisfying, though. I hope this happens a lot. Uh, this is really good, but also really bad, depending on where it spits me out, because if it, like, runs me straight into a rock, I can't really do anything about it. But I did manage to finish this level with 17 of my 27 health points intact. I did also unlock a new booster. Apparently, we can start with the fireball. I'm also starting with whatever this is. If you encounter a chest, try to collect it. You'll love its contents. Will do. I'm currently a fireball though, so no guarantees on anything. We are now getting basic fibers. I'm not sure what kind of drill we make out of basic fibers, but we're going to get something. I'm hitting a lot of rocks because I'm going for new materials. I probably shouldn't be so greedy, but I can't help it. I'm me. Oh, I missed the chest. Hopefully there's more, but there was definitely one back there to the right. We'll go super drilling for a second, and that's good. We had only seven health left. We collected one new item, we're gonna need, yeah, we're gonna spend some diamonds to expand our inventory. Now we can experiment again. Let's go basic fiber plus basic cloth equals, it equals light clothes. 
We could always use some clothes. Grants partial resistance to stones. I don't really care about stones. Well, we'll just keep digging for now. Whoops. Um, until we get some better ingredients or more ingredients. I thought I could maybe squeeze through that gap, but I was wrong. Managed to activate my super drill already. Uh, that was also very close. We're also getting light bulbs, so I feel like that's good for lanterns or maybe pickaxes. And fireball again. Uh, whoops, I thought that would last a second longer. I wasn't paying attention. Still waiting on the treasure chest, by the way. Didn't see one at all that level. I think I'm combining light bulb with plastic, but I'm a little unsure as to what's going on. Whatever the case, we're hopefully going to get left with something. The result of that is protective hard hat. What if I wanted to do light bulb plus wooden log? Can we get something nice there? I need a bigger uh, inventory, clearly. Okay, that makes a dryad's helmet. I don't have the ingredients to make a lot of that stuff, so we got to go back digging. And now we can run into bombs because those are naturally occurring in the Earth's crust. There's a chest finally, so we got that, but we're also going to start avoiding bombs. More accurately, we're going to try to start avoiding bombs. Level's done. Uh, okay, what's in the chest? We're going to open with one key. Hopefully we have one. Low quality token of first love. Damage increased 7%. Plus we leveled up. Wasn't really where we're doing damage. Not sure how that works. Well, now we can combine hipster cloth plus basic fiber. And um, we're going to finish that now because that's going to make us hipster swag. So also we're just going to throw this ring on right now because why would we not want more damage? So eventually for like millions of dollars we can buy things like the legendary luminous helmet but they're very expensive so we're not going to buy anything like that yet. What we can make if we want to is a protective hard hat. But I want to wait I need one more wood log. So I'm going to buy just one. Then I can hopefully craft a legendary dryads helmet. I don't know about you but I don't have five minutes to wait to see a result. Let's collect that and then we're going to take a look at what exactly we got. Yep, we actually got a legendary one. So that's going to give us damage reduction 11%, 50% more coins after finishing a mine, and I think more light. I may or may not have watched a video, we got Jasper for our effort. Which apparently is a rare ingredient, but look at that new helmet, we're looking sharp. Do you know that hitting a rock does 10 damage? And we've got about 30 damage total, so we cannot take too many hits. Hopefully we just get a lot of this firepower and also a lot of the rare ingredients. I really don't like going near those bombs. Superpower again to get us through the tricky bomb section. Actually, I should just go back and forth the whole time because I collect pretty much the whole map that way. And that was mine level 10, so we got everything you see before you, including that nice rare Jasper. So we might as well experiment with Jasper, and since it's offering, maybe we'll throw some wood down there. Amulet of Determination. I would love to make one, but I need more Jasper. So let's go see if we can dig some of that out of the ground. There's also a monster coming by. Uh, he's not very serious about his job, though. I'm going to start to need like more armor, I guess, uh, because my health is only 29. That's enough to hit three rocks. And you probably don't see it a lot, but I almost hit more than three rocks every single time. I wanted to drill through that monster, but I kind of mistimed it because they're pretty annoying. Um, but I do want to see what happens if we drill them. We might get a uh, experience or items or it might just die. Managed to scoop up another chest there. So that's going to come in handy. And then we're going to triple drill down to the bottom. Mine 11 is completed. We can open this for a chance to get superior amulet of determination, all sorts of stuff. We have 711 coins. So let's make one of these amulets of determination because I don't have an amulet yet and it'd be better to wear any of them than none of them. And we actually got four star quality so that's pretty good. Damage reduction 11% is going to add some health and I think some light. I hit a bomb and died for the first time. Uh, if we... Yeah, we lose all our ingredients. Um, that wasn't really my fault. Well, it was, but it was a tricky level is what I'm trying to say. There's a chest right away to start this, so we definitely don't want to hit a bomb. We want to survive all the way down, which is why I'm going to try not to use my drill because we drill and then we get released into a bomb. Uh, spots like that make me nervous, despite the fact I do that all the time with rocks. So, yep, we cruise through that. I think there was a partial hit, so we took a little bit of damage, which means we can't touch any more bombs. And there's a lot of bombs. But I think I'm only going to need like one more blue potion. Look at all the ingredients though. Before I get my superpower, there it is. It was two more in reality. I'm also a little nervous where this is going to spit me out now. Like that. Oh, okay. I guess we get a little bit of a grace period. 600 meters down. That was actually stressful. This chest can give us all sorts of new stuff. Ring of Forest Spirits, a bone helmet. Hopefully a bone helmet. That sounds fun. Two fire starters. So far we have a legendary helmet, legendary lantern, uh, and then a pickaxe is four stars, a necklace is four stars. You need better rings and clothes. I didn't mean to go into that rock, but here we are in the furthest level yet, about to do a mega drill. I also just obliterated a worm like I wanted to do, uh, so they do die, or at least they get out of the way. So much Jasper and rare ingredients here. I'm going to be able to make some fun stuff. 
Plus a lot of blue potions. So oh, here comes another idiot. Oh, I didn't get to hit him though. Mine 13 is done. That level wasn't so bad. Lots of ingredients. Mega quest chest 2. Legendary workers clothes. I feel like we should probably open this because there's a lot of cool stuff we could get. 45 magic dust. No idea what that does. So if we combine this stuff with plastic, what do we get? Token of first love. A plastic toy with a little gem. We can actually make one because they have like 4,000 plastic because I'm stupid. We'll go ahead and uh, take that. And uh, I think that was three stars if I was seeing that correctly, which is better than my ring now. That's two stars. That's okay because we're coming up on a worm and also level 15. Okay, worm, can you come at me now so I can drill you? And got him. Oh, that does give me extra something. And I just got an achievement for initiating one super drill in a dig. Got him. It's not very hard to dodge. The bombs are much worse. A slot machine? This is going to be trouble. So it's going to give us a free one to get us addicted. There's eight diamonds. Yep, give me more spins, please. Second spin, more free diamonds. I feel like it should have teased us more for something better. Because while we won, there wasn't anything exciting enough for me to care. Where do we get a golden barrel from? We must have found that in the level. So that plus wood is going to make something. Probably could have picked ingredients better, but I'm not sure I care. Because we made a ring of forest spirits. A speed mine time object adds one more second. We don't have the barrel to make that. But apparently we can do heroic levels to find this stuff. Digging a mine in heroic mode is harder. Extra rewards gained. I don't know what I just did, but we're going mining heroically. It will be harder, but the mines for the most part aren't very hard anyway. Because the worms come by that slowly. I should have actually just plowed it. We're also up to a full 30 health finally, so that's kind of helpful. This was a bad spot to drill. I drilled straight into a bomb. Can we revive? Okay, we also missed a chest, but we're back alive. Gotta stop doing things like that. But there's definitely spots where you can't just drill through the thing because you'll land in more bad stuff. Might have died again. This is actually harder than I thought it would be. Uh, but we're at the end of the level now, so overall the level wouldn't be so bad if I didn't do anything stupid. A uh, heroic reward, and we need to use keys to open this. Of course we do. Well, I'll take a heroic reward. It's only seven. Yep, we're going to have to buy a lot of diamonds just to do anything. By the way, the heroic rewards weren't really that great. But we're level six now, so we get three diamonds back. So let's try level 15. Here there's oil puddles. So basically we just need to avoid more things. And there's a treasure chest. Luckily the oil puddles don't move very fast, so they're not super hard to avoid. I also just got rough cloth, which uh, doesn't sound great, but I'm sure I can make clothes out of it. This level is also fairly difficult, but not too bad, so long as you're not doing anything stupid. But there's lots of good stuff to be had. Collecting a lot of coins, but we're also getting very deep. We're down to almost 700 meters. Pretty sure I did hit an oil slick at the end, and that's why there's a, like, my character slid for a long time. But I might be wrong. Either way, there's the end. What's in the chest? Well, let's open it up and find out. Only seven of those to go. Two fire starters, which I never use anyways. Let's try bone and maybe wood, because I know there's a wooden helmet or something. Maybe bone and cloth. Does that make something? Apparently that's the wrong combination. Uh, despite the mess you see, we're combining wood and bone. And Doll is going to fix that. I feel like that's the bone helmet we've been seeing. Nope, that's the hard bone pickaxe. Hitting three oil puddles in a row now initiates a super drill. All we need is a little bit of bone and a little more wood to be able to find it. Um, I don't know if we find wood this far in. We might have to go back to the beginning to find wood again. Well, I definitely just found a piece of wood uh, as I crashed through two rocks because I'm not really paying attention. But we're also going to go get all of that. Then we're going to keep rolling and hopefully get a little health back because I do not like having 12 health right now. Okay, I actually did find a health file uh, as I dodged a rock, so we're back up to 30. Finding quite a bit of wood, but not a lot of bones. End of the level, 84,000 coins collected. Yeah, we'll go ahead and open this. Do we have the things? Of course we don't. More coin magnets. We could actually buy a superior hardbone pickaxe for $100,000, but I don't have $100,000. So maybe next time we'll be able to uh, grind up millions of coins to buy things like legendary specialist clothes. Either way, we'll get rich.